in the last video we have been discussed about the operation principle of opm and their ideal characteristics now in this video we will discuss about dc characteristics of an opm so why dc and ac characteristics we are we are studying to understand any uh, electronic component or device we have to analyze properly through ac uh, through their ac and dc characters so here also we are going to see dc characteristics of an opm we are having four dc characters input bias current input offset current input offset voltage and finally we are having thermal drift so we will see one by one first we are going to discuss about input bias current what is meant by input bias current so uh, if you are you are not assume that you are not giving input voltage to the op pump v in equal to zero even though you are not giving input voltage some amount of output voltage will be generated due to the base current uh, due to the bias currents ib plus and ib minus so we are having two terminals now in upper non inverting and inverting terminal so through non inverting terminal uh, one current is flowing which is called ib positive and the current which is flowing through towards um, inverting terminal is called ib minus consider this diagram okay assume that v in is zero we expect that the output voltage to be zero but it is not so a finite output voltage v not will appear which is given by v not is v not equal to r f into i b two. Here I'm uh, I'm I'm consider i b uh, plus as i b one and i b negative as i b two. Kindly note that instead of i b positive, I am taking i b one. Instead of i b negative, I am taking as i b two. Okay. So this is our wish. Uh, okay. Whatever maybe the variable we can we can consider. This is our wish. So throughout this derivation, I am going to uh, derive like this only. Instead of i b Ne uh, positive IB1 instead of IB ne uh, negative IB2 and TV. Okay. Okay. So to reduce the undesirable effect of the bias currents, okay, uh, compensation circuit is used here. Compensation resistor or com. Going to I'm going to insert R com between non-inverting terminal to ground to compensate the undesirable effect. So now we will see the derivation how to find. IB1 and IB2. Okay. First, consider this closed loop. Consider this closed loop and I'm going to write equation. First of all, we are having V0 as a voltage source. So I'm writing V0. And here you come. Here we are having the voltage. Vf, right? Vf. 
but see you see the polarity from positive to negative this is flowing so i am taking as negative vf since uh, it is a uh, in the falling edge um, plus to minus okay then here you come you come here we are having v in equal to 0 so plus 0 then here we are having one node here a so in this node uh, some of the currents going towards this node and out, outwards this node coming out from out of this node so here what is the what is the voltage according to virtual according to virtual ground concept according to virtual ground concept here if you are connecting resistor with ground whatever the voltage flow up, flows across this resistor amount the same amount of voltage will flow parallelly in this node okay according to this virtual ground concept so i am simply writing plus here v1 means there also v1 so v1 equal to 0 now uh, we can simplify v0 equal to vf minus v1 since in input bias current v0 is 0 right we have to make 0 we have to make zero output. So we in, in place of V0, I'm writing zero equal to Vf minus V1. Then Vf equal to V1. We are formed. Okay. Vf equal to V1, we are getting in the closed loop equation. Then we have to apply KCL at node A. Okay, KCL, KCL formula, KCL equation. We are we have to apply in the in the node. So what is Mimikrichov's current law? Sum of incoming currents equal to sum of outgoing current. Okay, so towards this node, towards this node. Um, uh, what are the currents coming towards this node? I1 is coming and here you see IF is flowing towards this node, right? So both the currents are coming inside this node and IV2 is, uh, is um, away from this node. Okay, so uh, we can write like this. I1 plus IF is both the currents coming inside the, towards this node and equal to outgoing current is I V2. Yes. We, 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 will, uh, we can write, we can arrange this order like this. I1 plus IF. Okay. Now, what is mean by I1? I1 means your car, your, your car, your, you see I1. I1 is current flowing across R1. So, I equal to V by R. Okay, V by R. In this area, V1 is flowing according to virtual ground concept here. So, I1 means V1 divided by R1. Then IF means IF here. Okay. So IF is a flowing through across RF. So what is the uh, formula V by R? Instead of VF, we can put VF divided by RF. In place of VF, 
we can simply put as V1, right? According to this relation, according to this relation, V F equal to V1, V1 by R1 plus V1. Instead of V F, we can write V1 itself. Uh, um, from this relation, from this relation, we can write we instead of V F, we can write V1 and R F. Okay. We, we can take outside V1. So 1 by R1 plus 1 by R F. Okay. So uh, for taking LCM like that, we can take R1 plus R F divided by R1 R F. Okay. What is this? This is we are derived derive for I V2. I V2. Okay. Okay. So uh, we are found I V2. What is I V2? In order to have a successful compensation, it is necessary to select R com in such a way that I B1 equal to I V2. Okay. Means we have to make I B1 equal to I B2. Okay, I I will take fresh fresh slide. Okay. okay. So now we have to make compensate. We have to compensate the output voltage by means of I V1 equal to I V2. Okay. So what is I V1? I B1 from this diagram. I B1. Uh, once you can move this slide. Yes. What is I B1 here? I B1 flows across R com. Okay. So I B1 equals I equal to V by R, V1 divided by R com. Isn't it? So that value I can write here. V1 divided by R com. Compensation resistance. Then IB2, in the previous uh, step, we have found IB2. What is the value? R, R1 plus RF divided by R1 RF into V1. Okay. So V1, V1 both will be cancelled. Then here we are having remaining 1 by R com. So we will take inversely. So R com equal to this also will turn upside down. Since we are taking inverse. So what is mean by this? This is a parallel formula, parallel resistor formula. R1. So from this relation, we can write like this. R1 and RF resistors will be in parallel connection. If we are having R1 and RF resistors in parallel connection, we can get successful compensation effect. We can successfully compensating the excess amount of voltage, even in the absence of input voltage. Hence, from this we can understand that input bias current, okay, input bias current is the uh, average value of 
both the uh, bias currents or base currents entering into the terminals of an I of them means IB1 plus IB2 divided by 2. Okay, so this is the uh, derivation of for input bias current. So from this diagram, we can found, we, we will found uh, IB1 value and IB2 value. Then we, we can equate both of them to found our compensation, compensation resistor. So from this relation, we can understand that the average uh, amount of two base current is the input bias IB equal to IB1 plus IB2 divided by 2. This is IB. IB equal to. Okay. Okay. Then. Next. We will discuss about input offset current. Okay. So what is mean by input offset current? If IB1 and IB2 are equal, then bias current compensation will work. Therefore, input uh, transistors, here we are having, this is a uh, optum. Actually, this dash line, this whole box is denoted as optum. So inside the opam, we are having like this symbol of opam is uh, like this, no? So inside this opam, in this opam, we are having like uh, these two transistors. So like this only we are uh, having. So that only uh, uh, here, um, IB1 means base current. IB2 means base current of uh, transistor 2, Q2, okay? So this is the internal structure of open. Inside open, we are having transistors only. Therefore, input transistors cannot be made identical. Okay. So because of this, we are still having some amount of output voltage. Even though we are giving input 0 and we are compensating that by using IB, we are still having some um, current okay due to the um, uh, due to the not identical nature of transistors so the difference between IB1 and IB2 is called input offset current so IOS input offset current means the difference between base currents are bias currents. IB1 and IB2 is called IOS. Okay. So, uh, how to write that? How to write formally? IOS equal to IB1 minus IB2. Sometimes IB1 may be higher then this equation, this formula is correct. Some other cases, IB2 may be higher, higher highest value. So here we are, we, we can get minus sign while doing subtracting. So to avoid that, we have to take absolute value. Okay, absolute value. Okay. In some cases, IB1 may be higher value. So no problem. In some other cases, maybe IB2, if highest, then we will may get minus answer, right? So to avoid that, we will be making absolute value. Okay. Then uh, for uh, if the optum consists of BJT type transistors, the IOS means uh, offset current. Um, is 200 nano ampere. Just, just, to, just to make a note, if, for example, filter transistor is is used in the in, inside the upper means, their IOS value will be of 10 pico ampere. Okay. 
simply um, just to to know I'm saying okay so due to this offset current due to this offset current due to this offset current output voltage is produced when input voltage VA is zero referring to this uh, figure okay uh, you don't consider this red color marking like no, no. for now don't consider this part just consider the below part only so if you uh, consider this below part this is uh, same as before the previous input bias current uh, I, we have uh, drawn one figure node so this is resemble like this li like that only okay so from this we can uh, found what is v1 v1 equals v equal to i into r here we are having i v2 dot r com why we are having here i v2 instead of i v1 so in per, uh, in parallel connection uh, currents will be same okay so instead of i v1 i am taking i v2 itself uh, because of the simplified uh, derivation okay so here v1 equal to i v2 dot r com then i1 what is i1 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 equal to v1 by r1 okay then write kcl equation at node a here also we are having the same node as before so you have to write uh, kcl equation while writing we are i am getting like this i1 plus if minus i v2 same like uh, the previous generation then from here i have i have uh, taken like this i have equal to i v2 minus i1 okay so uh, we have to simplify as before to get v not equal to r f into i o s this is the uh, negligible amount of v naught v naught equal to r of dot i o s okay so from this uh, relation from this relation okay we can understand uh, and uh, we um, for our understanding you take one example okay if if r of if rf equal to 1 mega ohm consider okay consider let us consider rf equal to 1 mega ohm for for vjt type of transistor then what will be our output voltage output voltage so from this relation you tell from this relation you tell you substitute in this relation specified value and then found what is v naught so here uh, instead of r of i am putting 1 m into i o s for bjt the amount of offset current will be 200 nano ampere previous slide we uh, i have i have um, i told right then if you solve this 200 milliamps we are getting this is 10 power uh, 6 and 10 power uh, 9 uh, minus 9. So 10 power minus 3, we will take milli. Okay. So 200 milliamps we will be getting. So this is the amount of somewhat higher amount of voltage only. Okay. So even though we are not giving input as 0, we are not giving input, we will be getting V naught as 
nearly 200 milliamps. This is somewhat higher value. So, in order to reduce this unwanted voltage, we have to reduce RF here in this relation. You see, in this relation, because V0 and RF is directly proportional relation. Right? So, to reduce V0, we have to reduce RF. But if we are, if we take a very less amount of RF, RF resistor, the whole design will get collapse. Okay. So, this is not a good idea. This is a very bad idea. Uh, but, so we have to, uh, we can introduce this T-shaped network here. Okay. T-shaped network here okay to compensate that uh, v naught in this step we are uh, going to add t shape network like this okay so using this t shape uh, network we can we can reduce that effect so what is RF? RF value, we have to find RT square plus 2RT RS divided by RS series resistance. Then RS, RS series resistance equal to RT square divided by RF minus 2RT. Then RT, the condition is RT we have to make sm very small than half of the R. Okay. So this is the value of R of an RS. So we have to insert this T-shaped network to compensate the um, offset current, IOS. So this is about Input offset current. Input offset current means due to the mismatch between base currents, we are having unwanted output voltage. So that is called input offset current. Then and uh, we, we have seen how to compensate the input uh, offset current. Okay. Then now third terminal, third uh, parameter. Input offset voltage. Okay, we are going to discuss about input offset voltage. After compensating techniques, output may not be zero with zero input voltage. Again, okay, why? Because unavoidable imbalances inside the open. So, in the previous uh, step, also we have been discussed like that only uh, due to the internal architecture. The base current, we cannot be equal both, both of the current. Bias current, we are not uh, make both the currents equal. In case, uh, we are attaining, we are obtaining some amount of voltage. But here, what is mean by input offset voltage mean? To nullify the voltage, output voltage, we have to insert the balanced uh, voltage in the input side. Okay, to nullify or to compensate output voltage to make uh, output voltage as zero, we have to uh, compensate, we have to add the compensation voltage called input offset voltage. This voltage uh, we are giving at the input side, hence the name called input offset voltage. So, due to the unavoidable imbalances inside the open, still we are having uh, output voltage. We are getting some amount of output voltage. Uh, so, we have to apply small voltage at the input terminal to make output zero. That is called input offset voltage, VIOS. VIOS. Okay. Then, so, uh, so this is the general diagram of input offset voltage. Here, we are inserting offset current, offset voltage source in the input side to make output zero. Then here we are having 
Sir, uh, we are uh, uh, we can uh, uh, familiar about this diagram. This is the first one is non inverting amplifier circuit, and this is the inverting amplifier. Non inverting means in the non inverting terminal we are giving input voltage, and here inverting terminal minus we are giving input voltage. Okay, so we are familiar uh, about this circuit. If please make V i equal to zero here for the circuit we will make input voltage as zero, then the circuit will modify like this. Okay, this circuit, this both the circuit, you please make voltage, input voltage zero. So the circuit will modify as like this. Okay, from this, uh, we will uh, derive some current equation Current equation here we are. I'm going to write here. You see, uh, V naught here in this terminal. You please make a note in this closed loop. Okay, uh, voltage potential differences here is V naught minus V two. Oh, sorry, here like this in this direction. So here we are having no input voltage means ground zero we are having. So zero minus V2 divided by R1. So in this potential difference we have to write then plus this potential difference voltages. Uh, v naught here like this we have to write from uh, because of this current direction because of this current direction I am taking V naught first V naught minus V2 divided by R like this we have to write okay so to understand to your uh, to your better understanding I am going to write okay okay here I am going to write 0 minus V2 divided by R1. Okay. So, in this area, so since this is current uh, flowing direction, I am considering this current direction. I am writing this potential difference equation. Then plus, now this part. Current, current flows from V0 to V2. So, V naught minus V2 divided by Rf equals 0. No uh, output voltage. So, 0. So, from this we have to derive. Okay. So, I am I, taking fresh. I am taking fresh slide. Okay, so that equation I'm writing here. You please make a note. Zero minus V two divided by R one plus V naught divide uh, minus V two divided by R F equals zero. So now uh, we will derive minus V two divided by R one plus V naught by R F minus V2 by R F equal to 0. Then, then uh, V naught by R F we are keeping this side and the remaining portions I am taking next side R1 plus V2 by R F. A. Then V2 I am taking outside. Now V0 equals V2 
So we can simplify like this. 1 plus Rf divided by R1 will come. Finally, okay, if you solve this, if you take LCM and this RF, that RF will be cut off, then V0, we will be getting us like this. Okay. What is VIOS? Uh, Means input offset voltage equal to V i minus V two. Okay, V i minus V two. So we are going to take absolute value. Then V i we are we are not uh, supposed to give uh, input voltage so zero minus V two. Okay, so negative uh, since we are taking absolute. Uh, negative will be will we, we can make it as positive and be i o s yes. okay so this equation we will substitute in this relation okay thus we will be getting v not equal to v i o s yes. one plus r f divided by R1 as our output voltage. Okay. So so uh, here how I uh, put VAV2 you know right. So here I V1 and I V2 will come, right? Okay, instead of uh, one minute. Yes, input offset uh, voltage means this is the difference between input voltage to the, the both the difference V i minus V two. Okay, from this we can take V i o s. Then V i o s we will be substituting in this relation. Hence we will be getting like this. Okay, then we have to find total. Total output offset voltage. Total output volt offset voltage means V O T equals is a sum of sum of offset voltage output plus bias current output. Okay, so sum of offset voltage output and bias current output is a total output offset voltage. So we will be writing like this. V, what is offset voltage? V I O S 1 plus R F divided by R 1 then plus bias current R F dot I O S. Okay, so this is called output total, total output offset voltage. So here, uh, this step, bias current, uh, please uh, go to that slide, bias current, that slide, we are having RF dot IOS. Okay, so from that, I am taking this relation. Okay, so this is the, um, we have to avoid this uh, drawback, right? So how to compensate input offset voltage like this? Okay, 
to compensate input offset voltage, we have to add potentiometer. We have to uh, add 10 kilo ohm potentiometer at the terminals of 1 and 5. And this is wiper. From the wiper, we, can, we have to set 10 kilo ohm. Okay. Hence, we can overcome the offset voltage effect effectively. Okay. So, this is about input offset voltage. Okay. Then, finally, we are having thermal drift. Thermal drift. So, what is mean by thermal drift? Uh, bias current, offset current, offset voltage, change with temperature is known as thermal drift. Okay. So, if you consider um, one circuit operating at temperature 25 degree centigrade, so in that temperature, the circuit is in a null condition. Okay, null condition. But at you, you, you increase the temperature as 35 degree C. Whether the circuit in a null condition? No, not. The behavior and the characters will be changed according to this temperature. If you increase temperature as 35 degree C, the temp uh, the circuit will not be remain in the same nature. This is called drift. Okay. So offset current drift. We can represent as nano amps per degree C. Like that offset voltage drift. We can represent it in millivolt per degree C. Offset current, offset current drift, nano amps we can denote, and offset voltage drift we can represent it as in the millivolt per degree C. Okay, then. This is the effect on input offset voltage. Uh, according to this uh, rate of change of temperature, the input offset voltage can change. So this is called input offset voltage drift. So like the like that input bias current drift also there. Based on the temperature change, input bias current also will be changed. And based on the temperature change, Input offset current also will be changed. You, uh, you can see the changes uh, performance in the graph. Okay. So, we have to mitigate this effect, thermal effect, by uh, in two methods we can uh, successfully mitigate this effect by carefully designing PCB layout to keep off-ramps away from source of heat. And we have to give air cooling system regularly to stabilize the ambient temperature in the circuit. So these are the both the solutions uh, for the minimizing drift effect, the thermal effect, okay? So in this video, uh, we will we, we can uh, we discussed about input bias current, input um, offset current, input offset voltage, and thermal drift. So in the next uh, next video, we will be discussing about AC characteristics of an op. Thank you.